Instagram's co-founders are leaving the Vince social Strum media network. Instagram wasn't on Instagram. 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 Instag
Systrom took a moment to think about Mark's offer, but seeing how Facebook was booming at the time, he shook hands with the big man and said yes to his offer. The 2012 acquisition was historic, as no app had ever been bought for such a sum, especially one without a business model. Even though many people questioned Instagram's policies regarding data privacy, now that Facebook was riding shotgun, the acquisition was the best thing to happen to the platform. By 2019, Instagram generated almost $20 billion annually, making up about 30% of Facebook's revenue. However, not everyone was on board with the deal. After the acquisition, the small Instagram team celebrated, but their joy didn't last long. While Kevin and Mike made huge profits, the rest of the employees didn't. This led to resentment as they witnessed Kevin's extravagant spending, which was a constant reminder of how their boss did them dirty. A dark time for Instagram. Following its acquisition by Facebook, Instagram faced a lot of criticism over changes in its terms of service. They started suggesting rights to sell users' photos without compensation, which led to a backlash, resulting in the hashtag, hashtag delete Instagram trending. But that wasn't even the tip of the iceberg. When the platform allowed anonymous accounts, this led to a surge in cyberbullying, hateful content, and even illegal activities. This had a severe impact on the user's mental health. In 2021, classified data revealed that Facebook knew how harmful Instagram's effects were. They were aware that teenage girls developed body dysmorphia and it was tied to their usage of the platform. Later studies showed that Instagram made body image issues for many users worse and contributed to suicidal thoughts among teenagers. At the same time, whistleblowers also accused Instagram of prioritizing profits over user well-being. They revealed that the platform knew that users felt pressured to modify their appearance using photo editing tools, raising the standards for what's deemed Instagram-worthy. It was around the same time that Molly Russell's tragic case came to light too. Molly took her own life after she was exposed to distressing content on the app that her family pointed out after her passing. While Instagram took steps to address mental health concerns, such as hiding things like counts to do damage control, these issues never went away. But if you think that was ugly, wait till you learn about the mess these two men made. Facebook vs Instagram – The Civil War No One Saw Coming even though Mark promised Kevin that Facebook would just take a backseat after it bought the app, it was obvious that Zuck's influence was strong. This caused tension between him and Kevin Systrom that led to many disagreements over things like push notifications, email alerts, and integrating ads into Instagram. Kevin was not a huge fan of Facebook's ad system. He wanted a more curated approach to maintain Instagram's aesthetic. But despite initial compromises, Zuckerberg eventually won, and ads were now part of Instagram. Yep, those silly ads you see on the app, we've got Mark to thank for those. After Mark made ads a thing on Instagram, Kevin lost some control over his own brainchild. This was because Zuck was actually concerned that Instagram would overshadow Facebook. And because of that, he implemented subtle changes to redirect users from Instagram to Facebook. Again, this led to a lot of friction between the two, but eventually, he and his co-founder, Mike, resigned from Instagram. After the duo left, Instagram became a lot more like Facebook 2.0. With more ads and personalized content, surprisingly, the app still made it. It continued to thrive, especially after introducing the story feature, which was inspired by Snapchat. While opinions about Instagram's societal impact are a big question mark, its business success is undeniable. Kevin might have started this as a passion project to focus on photos, but today, Instagram is a lot more than that. But the question is, how long can Instagram keep this up? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.